for most Singaporeans, Malaysia would have been the easiest and probably first stop since borders reopened. But the pandemic has maybe taught us not to take travel for granted. So while there may be gorgeous islands, cheap and grateful all around in Malaysia, why not take the road less travel and learn about the parts of your closest neighbour which are not so similar to Singapore? Join me, Straits Times Malaysia Bureau Chief Shannon Teo, on a self-drive tour of the East Coast's unique culture and sites. Go back in time with me to see one of Malaysia's oldest mosques, walk on sky decks, and get up close to nature. If you're coming from Kuala Lumpur like me, then you have to make the journey coast to coast first. I've decided to go from north to south and have driven about 450 kilometers to Kota Baru, the capital of Kelantan. I've put up at the quaint Pasir Belanda, a clutch of Malay kampung style chalets located in a peaceful village just outside the bustle of Kota Baru city. If you walk outside, it's, you're going to see cows, goats, that sort of thing, um, you're really getting us to a good start to the rest of this trip. My first stop is to visit two Buddhist temples, Wat Machimaran and Wat Potivihan. They are just 10 kilometers from each other. Until recently, it was said they were home to the region's largest Buddha statues, a sitting Buddha and the other reclining. These are monuments to the religious tolerance that exists in Kelantan, despite 95% of the population being Muslims. Speaking of Muslims, Kelantan is home to what some historians believe is the oldest mosque in the country. Four centuries old, the Kampung Laut Mosque has only just been relocated back to its original site, having been moved in 1967 due to flooding in the area. In June, it will be the centerpiece of a heritage village. The village includes a complex dedicated to a local delicacy, serundik, of which Kampung Laut is said to be the biggest producer in the country. You will be able to find variants of this fried condiment in Indonesia, which is more coconut based. But here in the east coast of Malaysia, it is more meat based, using especially beef, but also with fish and chicken. There is a lot more to see and do in Kelantan, but time is short, so it's time to head down to Trunganu and our first stop there, the Setiu Wetlands. There's a 500 meter boardwalk along which you will already spot some interesting wildlife before you hit the river. There are various activities you can book at the ticket counter or beforehand, but today's river cruise includes visiting a fish farm. We also visit a private cape where we spot tracks of a mama turtle that laid its eggs maybe a couple of nights ago. The coastal ecology is crucial to this part of Malaysia's very agricultural and fisheries-based economy. I stay at Tanjung Jaya Resort, a property that perfectly integrates into its natural surroundings with activities like jungle walks and batik painting. But to get a deeper dive into the local culture, we head to Kampung Budaya, the cultural village of the gorgeous Trungganu State Museum. Unlike most museums, Kampung Budaya features living exhibits. Under each centuries-old wooden home, artisans show and will even teach you traditional crafts such as weaving and carving. As you can see, the locals approve of the build quality. Close to the museum is the spectacular crystal mosque. Covered with reflective glass, some of its 51 domes also contain semi-precious stones. And if you find time, it is worth a visit at night when it is lit up. Rivaling the mosque as the premier site to see in the East Coast is the Kuala Trangano city centre drawbridge, the first of its kind in the country. If you come from the airport in the north, you will pass by what locals call Miami Drive before reaching the double sky bridge tower. The bridge opens most often on Saturday mornings if you are fortunate enough to be here at the time. Warning though, you may not want to walk right to the edge of the sky bridge where there's a glass floor if you're afraid of heights. Thankfully, I made it down in one piece. Funny thing about Trunganu is during Friday lunch hour, everything shuts down for midday prayers. So I had to settle 
for a snack in my car just a few hundred meters after the state border into Pahang. I've had to cross the border um, and get into uh, Jaratik and had to rush and get some of these snacks called sata. Now what's a sata? It's cooked like a satay. What's inside is actually more like the filling they use for propoleco. So it's a fish paste and uh, it looks This brings us to the resort town of Cherating, to the Kasturi, a hotel tucked down a little road through the mangrove before ending in the beach. Named after Hijaz Kasturi, probably Malaysia's most renowned architect, this low-density hotel is beautifully designed to seamlessly meld with its natural surroundings. Pahang's royal town of Pekan houses the Sultan Bubaka State Museum. The grounds are a popular hangout even for those who aren't visiting the galleries which are one of the most contemporary among Malaysian museums. Sultan Abu Bakar was known as one of the most people-friendly rulers in the state, and his Cadillac is one of the permanent exhibits here. A somewhat incongruous feature is the train cafe. A museum staffer told me that we have a train cafe because we've never had a train here. Our final stop is also the most recently opened. The 188 Tower in Kuantan is the tallest on the East Coast and second in the country only to the KL Tower. Because Kuantan is fairly low rise, the sky deck offers a spectacular view of the city all the way to the hills as well as the seaside and riverfront. And if you're a bit of an adrenaline junkie, you can do a skywalk off the edge of the sky deck or abseil down from it. The tower offers a great sunset, which is not something you get often on the East Coast. But whatever time of the day, this part of Malaysia offers a lot to reflect on, especially how modern man can coexist with the country's diversity and heritage, both natural and cultural. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.